we're trying to do more with less, just like everybody else is. Superintendent Eric Churchwell says his funding for the next school year is about to take a plunge. It's caused him to reevaluate his current budget. You can't spend money you don't have. The Palmyra School District receives between 6 and 7 percent of its annual budget from the federal government. If a sequester takes place, Churchwell says he could lose anywhere from 8 to 9 percent of those funds. What that means for us, if it's a decrease of approximately twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars, we will either A, have to decide how we can cut that amount of money or we'll have to, we'll have to come up with local dollars to keep our programs in place. The main program that would see an effect from a sequester is the district's Title I reading and math program at the elementary school. But Churchwell says he's confident the school will not make cuts there. We spend just as much local dollars on that program as we do federal dollars. When Churchwell got word of a potential sequester a few months ago, he began to plan in advance. So what I have done in this year's budget, I reduced our revenue and our federal revenue by 6%. Those cuts are already in effect, so if the sequester happens, Churchwell will only need to cut back maybe 2% in the next school year. I won't see the 8% decrease until next year. So we may actually have a little bit of a surplus this year just because I planned ahead. We're kind of bare bones and still being able to, to provide a quality education for the kids. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, Palmyra, Missouri.